And everybody's telling you that one of the primary ways people build wealth is with real estate. And then it's over. So let's unpack that a little bit. I do believe that Grant Cardone, Gary Vaynerchuk, and all these content producing media personality people are wrong. I think they're wrong about home ownership. I would agree with Dave Ramsey and others in that category. And the reason I'm saying those names is because on the spectrum of investing, you would probably put some of those people on the, on the side of the spectrum that is like aggressive. And you'd probably put Dave Ramsey on the other side, which is very conservative. The thing that I think the aggressive investment minded people miss is the non-financial element of investing. And that's what Dave gets better than almost anybody is the peace of mind that comes with it. So I believe real estate does both. I believe owning your home, first and foremost, your first real estate investment should be owning your home. That's where I disagree with people that are saying, no, man, rent your place and go buy a cash flowing asset. You know, we can go Robert Kiyosaki. He would say an asset puts money in your pocket and a liability takes money out. And your personal home is not putting money in your pocket. You're having to pay for it, whether it's taxes, insurance, mortgage. I'm not going to fight any of them about those definitions. I'm just going to tell you for the vast majority of us out there, owning your home, having some control, having some benefits, having an asset that may cash flow later, but also you know you can lay your head at night. You can change the paint color if you want. There's a lot of peace of mind that comes with that. It's part of the American dream to have some piece of this great place and call it your own. From a financial perspective, your own home will probably someday be sold or rented to someone else. So we want to think about that from an investment perspective. I wrote a book years ago called Live Free, The Art of the Two-Year Flip. And the whole deal there is if you live there for at least two years and you sell it later, as a single person, you can sell it for up to $250,000 of tax-free profit. As a married person, you can sell it for up to $500,000 of tax-free profit. I don't know of any other investment where you can make that kind of money and not pay any taxes on your gains. To the 20-year-old person you're talking to me about, Courtney, I would say for most 20 year olds, goal number one, priority number one is to own your own place. Instead of paying, especially in Dallas, Fort Worth, instead of paying incredibly high rents to pay down somebody else's mortgage, build that equity in your own property, have that control over your own property and enjoy the benefits of ownership on your own property. That's step one. But let's not just buy anything and do whatever we want with it. Let's enjoy our home, but let's also have a thought process, a strategy, a game plan to go, is this my forever home? If not, what am I doing in it and with it so that when it comes time to sell it, I'm maximizing that opportunity. That's kind of what that book is about. And then to the 40 year old person that's like, I own my home. I've enjoyed it for quite a while now, but I think I want to own more real estate. I'd like to put my active income into a property to generate passive income or to generate additional gains, whether I'm flipping. So we, we say there's four main ways. There's, there's a thousand ways to invest in real estate, but there's four main ones. Quick flip, which is what you see on TV. Buy it, fix it, sell it. Slow flip, which is what I just said. Buy it, live in it, sell it later for profit. And then there's short-term rental, which most people think of as a Airbnb or a vacation rental or something like that. And then there's long-term rental, which is what most people think of. I own a house, people rent it year to year or two or three years at a time. Four things, quick flip, slow flip, short-term rental, long-term rental. Most people's residential real estate investments are gonna belong in those four categories. And honestly, most of them are gonna be quick flip and long-term rental. So two majors, two minors, four styles of investing that are gonna cover almost everybody.